Welcome to Interior Health's Adult Type 2 Diabetes video series. The topic of this video is about the complications associated with diabetes. Just a few reminders as you watch this video series. We encourage you to watch the videos in order. And just remember, you can go back and watch the videos as often as you'd like. Fraser Health on the Road to Diabetes Health is a great resource to accompany this video series. And remember, you can pause the video at any time if you would like to spend a little bit more time reviewing the information. We would like to acknowledge that our work occurs on the beautiful, traditional, ancestral, and unceded territories of the First Nations of the Interior Region. We also recognize the Métis Nation and the contributions of the Métis peoples to the Indigenous ways of being and knowing on this land. In this video, we will be discussing the possible complications of diabetes and the related labs and exams of circulatory problems, kidney problems or nephropathy, eye problems, retinopathy, and nerve problems, neuropathy. Circulatory problems can happen, especially if blood sugars, blood pressure, and cholesterol are consistently high. Smoking can also increase circulatory problems. Think of your vessels and arteries like plumbing. Pushing water through is fairly easy, but if we change water to honey, it is thicker and harder to push through. As well, throw in debris in the pipes, like fat deposits, and fluid can't run through as easily. All this will lead to higher pressure and greater strain on the system. To help your circulatory system, these are some goals to look out for. Keeping your blood pressure under 130 over 80. We encourage people with diabetes to have an ECG or stress test every two years. And if you're struggling with smoking or wanting to quit, please go to this online resource, quitnow.ca, for more information and support. We would also ask that you get your cholesterol checked once per year. And these are our goals. Keeping LDL under 2.0 millimoles per liter, keeping non-HDL under 2.6 millimoles per liter. ApoB is another method that measures cholesterol. The goal is to keep it under 0.8 grams per liter. And finally, triglycerides under 1.5 millimoles per liter. High blood pressure and high sugar levels can cause damage to the kidneys called nephropathy. Your kidneys filter your blood and remove waste into urine. If they don't filter properly because they are damaged, then protein can be found in the urine and levels of creatinine are higher in the blood. Once a year, it is important to check kidney function when you have diabetes. EGFR blood test measures how well the kidneys are filtering. The goal is to keep this number above 60 mils per minute. ACR measures the amount of protein found in the urine. The goal is to keep this number under 2.0 milligrams per millimole. Retinopathy is an eye problem that can happen in persons with diabetes. Typically, high blood sugars over time can damage the tiny blood vessels on the inside of the eye called the retina. It is important to have your eyes checked every one to two years. 
make sure they are dilating the eyes to see the blood vessels. High blood sugars over time can damage the nerves in your hands and feet, as well as the other nerves in your body. Most often, people can notice numbness, tingling, or burning in their feet. If neuropathy continues to progress, people can lose all sensation. In order to avoid advancing neuropathy, it is important that your physician or other healthcare team member examines your feet once a year. It is also important to check your own feet daily for cuts, ingrown toenails, or any other changes. For more information, watch our Caring for Your Feet video. You have just viewed the complications of diabetes. We encourage you to view the remaining videos for more information about living well with type 2 diabetes.